KVGC News Time, seven minutes after the hour of seven o'clock. Good morning, everyone. Time now for a look at the latest on the local scene. Well, topping the news for today, the four day run of the 2018 Amador County Fair came to a close last night in a cloud of dust and radiator steam with the perennial favorite destruction derby. Car number four, driven by Artie Trussler, went on to win from a field of 15 cars. Ken Julian in car B52, last year's second place finisher, taking sec- second place honors again this year. And Artie's brother Jeff in car 747 took home third place. A special category this year, the Mad Dog Award for the hardest hits throughout the night, went to the double S car, driven by Seth Seaver. Amador Fair CEO Troy Bowers says while the final figures will not be available for a few days, from all indications, attendance was steady despite the heat. Yesterday's junior livestock auction brought in over $500,000. Well, the California Department of Transportation, Caltrans, performing a major highway improvement project, repaving eight and a half miles of Highway 49. The project will extend from Highway 12 to the McCallamy River Bridge, and extend the service life of the existing pavement while improving efficiency and safety for motorists. Now work is scheduled to begin today with the project expected to be finished in October. Construction scheduled Monday through Friday, 8, a, or excuse me, 8 p.m. till 6 a.m. Motors can expect lane closures and one-way traffic control with flaggers handling traffic flow with up to 20-minute delays during the project. Now the $3 million project was awarded to George Reed Incorporated of Modesto, Please leave extra time to reach your destination. And as I always tell you, be aware of workers. Slow for the cone zone. Calaveras Consolidated Firefighters responded with Cal Fire to the report of a vegetation fire on Comanche Parkway Saturday afternoon. East Bay Mud was also on scene with two engines. They were able to stop the forward progress of the small grass fire to about a half to quarter of an acre. The cause of that fire is under investigation. Well, with more hot weather headed our way, here's a question from Cal Fire. Are you doing the right thing the wrong way? For example, trying to eliminate the fire hazard around your home and in the process starting a wildland fire? Well, each year Cal Fire responds to more than 1,600 fires started by Californians using equipment the wrong way. Whether working to create a defensible space around your home, just mowing the lawn, or pulling your dirt bike over to the side of the road, if you live in a wildland area, use all equipment responsibly. Lawn mowers, weed eaters, chainsaws, grinders, welders, tractors, and trimmers can all spark a fire. Do all yard maintenance that requires a gas or electric motor before 10 a.m., not in the heat of the day or when the wind's blowing. Also remember, hot exhaust pipes and mufflers can start fires. Don't pull off into dry grass or brush. Always keep a cell phone nearby and call 911 immediately in case of a fire. Do your part the right way to keep our community fire safe. And as the month of July comes to an end, it doesn't look good at the gas pumps. According to AAA, total crude inventories fell by 6.2 million barrels after growing by nearly the same amount during the previous week. The tightened domestic crude supply and robust global gasoline demand and high global crude demand will likely sustain the more expensive crude oil prices seen this year into the foreseeable future. Now, this trend will keep gas prices high throughout the remainder of the summer and possibly even into fall. While the national average price of a gallon of unleaded is steadied at 285 a gallon, the California average sits at 362. As of this morning, motorists in Amador County are paying an average of 348 a gallon and in Calaveras County an average of 363 a gallon. And the Friends of the Amador County Library holding a book drive Saturday, August 4th. And again, Saturday, September 8th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Friends of the Amador County Library Book Storage Building on Summit Street in Jackson. Now, in preparation for the semi-annual book sale on the weekend of October 19th through the 21st, the Friends of the County Library accepting donations of gently read books and audiovisual materials in saleable good condition. For more information, call 267 8 Five, five. Please, no magazines, VHS, or cassette tapes, or any damaged material. Again, the event will be sponsored by the Friends of the Amador County Library with the Book Drive, Saturday, August 4th, 10 to 2, at the Book Storage Building behind the Old Courthouse 
here in Jackson. And that's a look at local news on a Gold Country Monday morning. From the KVGC News Center, I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather, 24 hours a day, you can always visit our website, kvgcradio.com.